We Nigerians have this casual arrogance about us. We think that we're better than everyone else for no reason. No. Feel like people from who come from Africa feel like they're better than you. Ooh. Um. Or do you have, or have you heard that from your community in any way, shape, or form? Truthfully, the only culture that you hear that come to America and feel like they're better than African Americans is Nigerians. I've never heard people say like South Africans or Ghanaians come over or. Blah blah blah, or like well, I ain't gonna say blah blah blah. I'm not gonna you know diminish their right. cultures, but like the other ones can't come to mind right now. But the only culture that you hear that genuinely come over here and just feel like they're above, beyond, and better are yep. Nigerians. Hello guys, this is Fred from Africa, and of course, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry by the way, I'm taking lunch, and my lunch today is is uh, milk tea. This is my milk tea with the uh, chapati. I have chapati here. This, this is the chapati. That's my lunch today. And uh, I just stopped in the, in the middle of my lunch because I came across some video here that I would want us to talk about. I, I went to TikTok and I found some videos of African Americans complaining that Nigerians are not good people because of some reasons that they lay down. They think that Ni some Nigerians are not good people according to them. Why? The reason that I got is that Nigerians, when they go to America, they take their women. Okay? And also the women are complaining that the, 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 their men marry outside their community. Okay? Then the men are complaining that in the Nigerian men, when they come to America, they take their women and marry. Okay, so that's also one reason why African American men hate Nigerian men. Women say that Nigerian men are so romantic. I don't know whether that's true. If you're watching me from Nigeria, guys, what do you think about the Nigerian men? Okay, is it true that Nigerian men are so romantic? I've heard about this for quite some time in various, in so many videos that people say that Nigerian men are so romantic, and also the Af the African American ladies also love them because. They are so romantic, they are so hardworking, they are so strong. I don't know because I don't come from Nigeria and I cannot confirm that because I'm also a man, okay? <laughs> I'm also a man. So another thing that also Af African Americans complain about is that Nigerian people are so arrogant, okay? When they go, when, they, when you interact with them, they are so arrogant. They think they are better off than an African American, they think that they are so important than an African American. I don't know that whether that is true. I came across some videos. That's why I've decided to stop in the middle of my lunch and record this video, guys, because I wonder, I wonder an environment where all Africans are equal, all Africans think the same, all Africans love each other. No, no African is superior than any other African. Africans should be equal in, every, in everything that they do because you want an environment where Africans love each other, Africans embrace each other, okay? Know that other, another part of Africa is complaining of the fellow African of, or of a brother or a sister because of something that we can sit down, talk about and solve. Also, get to understand that Nigerian, Nigerian people, when they go to America, they take the jobs that belong to the African Americans, okay? They leave them with nothing, complaining. All these things we get them through the social media. That's, and that's where we lay all our conversation and our discussion. Because the media gives us that. And therefore, we have to talk about this. If we fail to talk about this, nobody will come from somewhere to help us solve our own issues. These are our own issues and we have to speak about them and come to understanding because we are all the same. Africans are all the same. I am your brother when you see me see your brother. 
okay when you see my sister see your sister okay so we should not hate each other nigerian people are our, are our brothers okay people say that oh people are so jealous of the nigerian people because they are so they are so intelligent i don't know whether that's true they are so uh, romantic the nigerian men their ladies are so beautiful i don't know where if you're watching me from nigeria guys i would love to hear from you i would love to get your feedback what do you think about that do you think what african americans think about you is true that african that nigerian people are so arrogant they are so rude let us say that the nigerian men are so romantic they're so lovely they're so strong and so hardworking. Okay, the men complain that Nigerian men, when they go to uh, America, they take, they grab away their wives, their women. Women also complain that the African American men are so lazy and not that strong. We should love each other. When I marry an African American, that should not be at the talk of town. Okay, that should not be something to create enmity between ourselves because if such thing can create an enmity between me and you then who will stand in for me when i'm when i'm in problem or trouble i think it's high time for all the blacks to unite together form a very strong and powerful community for us to move together but all those allegations that are laid against the nigerians I, I cannot confirm them unless I get an African American who is ready to discuss these things with me. Okay? You can either contact me through my email address, it is there in the description app. Also, you can also WhatsApp me. I also have my WhatsApp number there. You can reach me via the WhatsApp and let's talk about thing, these things. You can as well have a video call so that we discuss about we discuss these things and settle them up because we don't want a scenario where we hate each other for no good reason we don't want that guys i love you so much and let me continue taking my lunch as you watch these videos of africans and african americans okay concerning the same topic that we're talking about guys enjoy my video and welcome to my lunch karibu tena to lunch welcome karibu means welcome okay karibu sana to enjoy lunch this is tea and an african tea it is milk, we have sugar inside, and this chapati, wheat, okay, this chapati is so healthy for anyone who, who, who has never tasted chapati. If you're watching me from America and you never tasted chapati, I think I can organize for you uh, some package for you to get some taste, okay? Mind you, Ben is not Nigerian, he's East African, but he takes his time to speak good about Nigerians because he understands what's going on. So I went down this rabbit hole, you know, I searched videos, Nigerians think they're better than us, and I saw a lot of interesting videos. I mean, for some reasons, yes, Nigerians are raised to be very competitive. We actually compete amongst ourselves. Like, Nigerians are raised to be competitive, like I already said. We are raised to be the best, to best the best, to outperform the most performing person. Live and act like they're the best? Come on now. Now, I'm not talking about... Africans or immigrants or Nigerians who move to a place and then try to diminish the effort of the people of that place That's not what I'm talking about. We have to give credit to those who have gone ahead of us. Yes What I'm talking about is the excellence. You cannot It's not fair to expect us not to be excellent In 2016 I visited US for the first time from Nigeria. I was successful in Nigeria So when I met my secondary school classmates in Houston, I didn't feel bad. I felt good but in 2017, I moved to the U.S. I had lost my source of income and I was in an abusive relationship where my partner spoke down on me a couple of times and I developed inferiority complex. I had a sense of insecurity. I couldn't, I mean, I wasn't proud of who I was anymore. So in 2018, I got a warehouse job and I met my classmates, but I felt uncomfortable around them. They didn't do anything bad. Those guys actually encouraged me and helped me through the processes, you know. And I also attended a high school reunion where I met my seniors. Those guys were also nice to me. But because they were successful in oil and gas, private businesses, I felt uncomfortable around them. Not for anything they did, but because of my insecurities. I even attended Umwebo Unite, an association where I could go 
you know, I could teach the Nigerian Americans there the Igbo language. I felt good about myself until some of them started asking me, what do you do? I was not comfortable telling them I was working in the warehouse. Not for their reason, but for my insecurities, I was uncomfortable around them. So it's either you have low self-esteem or high self-esteem, or you have self-confidence, or you will have imposter syndrome. And I would rather stick with high self-esteem. It's good to know that you're the best. It's good to be the best in what you do. So all this hate and bias against Nigerians, are we supposed to diminish our light because we are shining bright on other people? Well, come on now. Be fair, people. This is Fred from Africa. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe, comment, and share for many more African stories, culture, slavery, food, lifestyle, and many more. And thank you for stopping by to learn more about Africa, our motherland, and the mother of the world.